I had to go and visit Advent Health, which is a healthcare provider in the US. It's got onions, there's some bit of bacon in there, cheese, it's so good. We thought we'd combine two days into one. We're in the Mall of Millennia. We've been shopping, been to Bath and Body Works, been to Macy's, a little treat for Lloyd in there. the side. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. So it's a bit of a different start to the vlog today because we are at Universal right now. <laughs> but this morning I woke up and everything seemed normal until I put my earrings in. And then I got two very, very swollen ears. I'm not going to show you. I mean, they've gone down a lot now, but they were so they were bad. Massive. They were massive. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. They were proper Thanks, massive. Thanks for that. So. <laughs> Stop laughing, it was terrible. <coughs> so I had to go and visit Advent Health, which is a healthcare provider in the US. They were amazing. Just talk you through the process a little bit, just in case you're ever ill in the USA. So with our travel insurance, we had to call them up and then get a certificate of insurance, which was quite a lengthy process. I had to answer a lot of questions. And when you're not feeling great, it's not great. <laughs> I don't know what they do if it's a real med medical emergency. I think they would see you <laughs> and then ask yeah, about Yeah, you'd hate so. Yeah. So the reason that we did it that way is because we got into Advent Health and they were like, well, you can either provide us with your certificate of insurance or you can pay $498. So obviously we chose to go and sort out the insurance first. So we did all that, got the certificate of insurance and then it was such a smooth process. Just, they just needed that and I'm my ID. And then I got seen by got lovely, seen very quickly. Very quickly. <coughs> they took everything, all the all the vitals. And then I saw the doctor, got prescribed some drugs and we're good to go. So I yeah. think we're back on the holiday. We were hoping to be in Universal all day today. However, we will be here for the afternoon and evening, which is great. Lots of people that are leaving right now. The uh, studios does close at around six tonight. So I think they've got a special event going on tonight. We'll probably have about an hour or so studio side and then Ireland's open until seven. But then we do have dinner booked for this evening, which is good. So it's yeah. a nice evening out. It's like a date night. Yeah. <laughs> date night with a funny start to the morning. <laughs> we are in Universal. So excited to be here. It's like they're about to the uh, parade. It does, doesn't it? We'll watch that another day. Yeah, yeah. Rides, rides have to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There have been changes since we were last here. This is now like a sweet shop. Bake my day. That's cool. They've got a like, pastry case in there. Some things that don't change. Got Jimmy Fallon over there. And of course, well, there's a Christmas tree there. But through the bushes, you can see Revenge of the Mummy. Oh, I've missed this part. So nice. The parade is currently going on as we came out of the mummy. But that's it, the park's closed now. <laughs> so that yeah, was. I'm thinking of coming back tomorrow yeah. as it's been such a strange day today. But we will pop over to islands now. Yes. Entry into studios and islands is cool, isn't it? It's so cool, it takes your photo. You take your picture. Yeah, it's Just facial recognition. It yeah, yeah. Our adventure begins, even though we've only got about half an hour. <laughs> our favourite shop in the whole of Universal, Sweet Candy Cookers. Why is that, Becky? It's got a crispy treat. Yes. So it's like a crispy treat. It's, it's a bit different, they give it to you now and then you go and pay. So here's our first look oh, at Velocicoaster. It would be in the dark as well, just to have that added fear. The queue time is way long for us right now. So we're just going to admire it and maybe go on it another time. <laughs> it's 
a 90 minute wait right now. Oh, so I, need, I need some, I need like no lead up. I need to just walk straight on. Yeah. Up like no. Yeah, but the, the queue is amazing. So. That bit is so high, so high. We've been diverted. We tried to get up to Hogwarts on the top path by the Discovery Center. But they've closed it off. They obviously closed it off for the fireworks. There's like fireworks and a projection show. And so we could have gone and taken the path down, but we decided to come through the Discovery Centre and then back out into Hogsmeade. Just heading down to the lockers for Forbidden Journey. This is new for us, walking down this little bit of path. They used to have the lockers inside, didn't they? Yeah. And now it's carnage, and now always. It's so much better. Yeah, so much better. It's so free and you can't hear. Phones, wallets, bags, and loose change. Remember to keep your park ticket with you at all times. I think we were literally the last riders on Forbidden Journey. It was so good. So good. I missed that ride a lot. Yeah, it's brilliant. But the park is now closed, so we're heading on out, just coming through. It was a fleeting visit, wasn't it? It was a little bit, yeah. However, we have got dinner at Cowfish, so we've not been there in, since your birthday. That's five years five ago. Five years ago. Wow. So, and then I was in as well. <laughs> oh man, we do pick the days, don't we? We've been sat in Cowfish, and if you want to see the menu, you can click, well, scan the QR code. Our drinks have just arrived. I went for a Florida lager, and Becky went for a, what is it? Mango ginger. Mango so, ginger. It's tequila. We're well on the tequila at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, I really like it. Mango, lime and ginger. Okay. It's very intense. But it's not strong, it's very limey. Food has arrived. I got the... It was something like a C C T L. <laughs> it's a bacon and cheese burger with some fries. And it's all gluten-free. And Lloyd got the barbecue. Texan, Texan longhorn or something. It's got onions, there's some bit of bacon in there, cheese, it looks so good. Did you enjoy your cowfish? It was a lot of food, like a lot. <laughs> a lot. My burger was so, so tasty. It was so juicy and it was, I made a right mess, but it was so good. It was very tasty, very, very tasty. So it's the next day and we thought we'd combine two days into one because yesterday wasn't as eventful as we thought it would be. Just a little update, the ears are much better today, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> Just leaving the resort now, we've had a very chilled morning, it's been lovely. You need at least one of these on a Florida holiday. We need, yeah, our, <laughs> our bodies were flagging hard, I think, like achy. It's getting back into the swing of these kind of holidays again. We haven't, we haven't done one like it for a long time. So I think you've just got to build back up to it. Hopefully there'll be many more of these holidays to come. Today we're off to the mall at Millennia because if you look outside, it's not looking great. Proper it's like proper raining and it's gonna be like this all day. So we've decided that we're not going to be going to a theme park. Like right now, right at this present moment, we're not planning on going to a theme park. Things may change. Depending on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the weather. If it dries up, if this rain blows away, then yeah, definitely go probably up to Universal because we're going to be up in that kind of, um, up that way. But yeah, at the moment. We're in the mall at Millennia. We've been shopping, been to Bath and Body Works, been to Macy's, little treat for Lloyd in there. More Bath and Body Works bags, and we're just sitting down to eat now. We've got a Chick fil A, I'm very excited about this. Lloyd has got the chicken nugget meal, 
with fries and we've got a lemonade which is over by me. I've got the grilled chicken nuggets which are gluten free yep. and then we've got loads, they gave us loads of dips. So we've got <laughs> loads. loads of dips. <laughs> so we've got three barbecue, two honey and mustard and then three Chick-fil-A. you excited? We're just waiting for our Starbucks. I've got a, another, yet another, gingerbread chai latte with coconut milk. Again, a it's French thing. A Lloyd's gone, <laughs> gone full on boring with Americano. <laughs> full on boring? It's just what I like, it's fine. Not full on boring. And just to let me know, the weather has not changed. In fact, if anything, it's got worse. It's got worse. I think. This, this weather is terrible. Apparent, yeah, apparently it's like this until yeah, 8 tomorrow. Hello. Here are our lovely drinks. Oh, this has got a little bit of spillage there. Oh, they should have put oh. the little green thing in. They didn't should have done, shouldn't they? Yeah. But they did not. <laughs> they did not. So we're on our way now. Oh, look, there's Bahama Breeze. <laughs> Another classic. Classic American restaurant. Very nice for cocktails. <laughs> so now we're on our way to... The outlets. We're going to the Vinyl ones, aren't we, Lloyd? Yeah, we're right up. We're by right the by others. the other ones. Yeah. Uh, but we prefer the Vinyl ones, so we're going to go there. The character warehouse is generally better. It is. is what we've found anyway. Yeah. In the other one. Yeah, the other one. Um, yeah, it's good, but it's not as good, is it? <laughs> Becky has found a spirit jersey that she was looking at in Paris. It's 34.99. It is cool. It's very soft. Very, very, very fluffy. Very soft. <laughs> Avatar spirit jersey as well. Avatar spirit jersey. Avatar spirit jersey. Avatar spirit jersey. Avatar spirit jersey as well. I mean, quite odd sizes, aren't they? Double yeah. X and large. And the little oh, Halloween ones. Little cute Halloween yeah. ones. There's a lot of Halloween gear, isn't there? Oh, look, it's Focus Focus. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't lose your head. <laughs> the new, the new, the new uh, one. The new Focus Focus. And there's this spirit jersey, which is interesting. So it's got the castle on the front, and then on the back. Oh, it's Disney World. Like old school, isn't it? It is, it's like the retro style. Yeah. And that's 29 99 so the 50th has made its way into the outlets as well, so that's cool. It's a very funky design though, not really. I like the back. Oh, has it got oh, Mickey and Minnie on the back? <laughs> Some of the range from Paris has come from the 30th, the mini range. These plates are 19 99 Very interesting, it's made its way here. What the heck is that? Found a new shirt, Lloyd. New shirt, not so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it would suit me. You don't know where it is. Uh, <laughs> I like this one, the monorail one. Right, it's got the 50th shirt here. That's nice as well. We've just been to Giordano's and got our oh, pizzas. Wow. Oh, here's a beast, this one. Got to pull out the sides. That's how epic this box is. Oh my goodness, look oh at the size goodness. of that. That is a small. Wow. Oh, look at the cheese, it's like melting down the side. <laughs> That's epic. Yeah, I'm not going to eat all of this tonight. We're going to save this. I'll probably have a couple of slices tonight. Now, there was a bit of a wait in there because they were saying, oh, we couldn't find the basil and we were putting the basil on the gluten-free. So, okay, that's good then. So for those of you that are English, that would be basil. <laughs> but there we go. Oh, Look that's that. nice. That's Just a gluten-free margarita. Looks tasty though. It does, looks mm. delish. And it is still absolutely chucking it down with rain. So this has been a, a very fun day today. It's the next day, so we thought we'd end yesterday and the day before's vlog here, before we start today's vlog. <laughs> if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we shall see you in the next one. <laughs>